tell me? At mine the time I was with Laura McEwen. Laura McEwen? A girl with an awesome sexual reputation. One night in a glass market pub, she grabs us and takes us home. Aye, well, what can you do? Aye, what can I do? She says to us, I want you to take my ass virginity. Pop <laughs> me in the ass. <laughs> I've never done it that way before. <laughs> that sounds very. But she has another thing she wants to do with me first. Well, she burns my ankles together with some white rope. We've no clothes on, can we? Stripped off. She bites my ankles together with some rope. And when she's done with that, well, she grabs my ankles and binds those my wrists together with a rope as well. I ain't gonna fuck her in the arse if you don't want me asking. <laughs> Hey, 
<laughs> and your kid told me, and then I get it wrong, I laugh the fucking cunt up, but he's fucking scooby when it comes to a figure. Plus he's pitched out his fucking head. Why the hell a fucking pool cue? This is half past 11 on a fucking Wednesday. What are we talking about here? <laughs> you fucking heard him, like, these fucking cunts. But never says no again. Fucking pooky cunt. So called fucking hard cunt. Like, you know, I never really rated the pooky cunt. But I was disappointed in the fucking hard cunt. <laughs> what a so called fucking hard cunt, huh? What a fucking hard cunt at all, mate! Fucking shitey they got good for tells. Big fucking disappointment to me, I can fucking tell ya! <laughs> Maybe he's a con to the first order. No doubt about it. I cannot completely relax in this company. Especially without a baby. Especially without a baby. Aye. Your steps could change suddenly from great mate into persecuted victim. So we indulge the Raj. Tell him he's the big man, laugh at his murderous jokes. You know how it goes. You laugh at the rest of the cunts, because you fear not to. You're afraid to stand out of a crowd, you're just a wee fucking coward. And then all the lies you tell him, and the bullshit you make up to curry favor. <laughs> it's a great friendship for a storyteller. I mind the time me and Bentley were lying down at the bottom of the school running track. We were lying down watching the lassies racing in their wee shorts and blouses. We were lying on our stomachs. Heads propped up on her elbows and hands, watching Lizzie McIntosh point up a game race against the lanky strides of Big Morag, Jam Rag, and <laughs> She can fucking lay around all day, huh? Got the pack of bag and looking for my jeans. She's just waking up. Frank. Aye, that fucking cunt better wash my laddies, huh, mate? Oh, Frank. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm out to here. Where is my sauce? Aye. Everything takes twice as long when you want to go around, mate. Where are you going? Hey, I can do without this fucking cunt living in my fucking head. Where? I told ya, I've got to fucking Nash. Pull a bit of business off and disappear him for a couple of weeks. And if all this cunts come, you've not seen us for the ounce. You think I'm on the fucking eggs, right? You've not seen us, mind! But where are you going, Frank? Where are you fucking well going? Well, that's for me to ken and you to find out. Well, you didn't fucking ken that Ken will fucking kick out to you, can they? Just cannot go like that, you fucking bastard! Now you fucking cunts talk to us like that, that's the rules of the fucking game! Take it or fucking leave it! The Baron! The Baron! Oh, the Baron! Oh, the Baron! Shut your fucking mouth about the fucking Baron! Probably the bad fucking Baron anyway! Shaving gear! Give the dog! Give the dog! It's your fault! See if I'm fucking late for the train, huh? Oh, I heard! I heard! Get the dog Got to fucking Nash! Look, I've had fucking barons before with other fucking lasses. I can't believe it's all about. She thinks it's gonna be all fucking great when the baron gets here. She's in for a fucking shock, alright? If I can tell you something about barons, mate, pain in my fucking eyes. Frank! Time for the shock exit, huh? Frank! 